I am. So you have no idea how excited I am right now. You really like it? I'm so freaking excited for this. I haven't but, played that since I was a no, kid. No, but we're tweaking the rules. Oh. <laughs> OCD. I, I get so OCD. O C I get so D. O C in the dizzle o for shizzle. O C D. O C D. Scissor Bros have O C D. Jeremiah's got O C D. Stevie's got O C D. I do. We both do. One, two, two. three. Hey, wait, wait. Oh, One, I don't have anything two, to pack. Terrence. One, two, three. <gasps> Ter we haven't talked. I feel bad. We haven't talked to Terrence in a while. Terrence, tap his trunk. Terrence, uh, I'm going to wake and you up out of your slumber. And his branches and leaves, please. He's a living thing. <gasps> Listen. Do you have any red vines? Oh, it's so good hearing from him. It's my favorite him. kind of candy. Thanks for saying hey, buddy. Obviously. I'm sorry to wake you up. You can go back to sleep if you want, but you can stick around also if you'd like to hang out for the He's episode. He's not going anywhere. That's He's our friend. Anywhere. That's our buddy. Yeah, that's our friend. I'm here. Um, I'm feeling good, my friend. I am too. Other than us having OCD, I'm feeling uh, really yeah. good. Yeah. Really good. And you wrote a beautiful song. Oh, is that where you have some lyrics? Yeah, I'm trying that? to learn it with you. I'm trying to be involved too with you. Oh, no. I wrote it for us, my friend. Oh, I know. I could see that. Oh, yeah. You Should we get into it? Let's take a crack at it. <laughs> Let's take a crack okay. at it. Okay. Here we go. All right. <laughs> So many people in the world today It doesn't matter if you're white, black, straight or gay One thing unites us between heaven to hell When we wake up in the morning, God, what's that smell? What foul demon crawled out of your mouth? Worse than a sewer in the deep, deep south what I'm trying to say is that we're all disgusting And when we wake up, both of our eyes be crusting We're all God's disgusting creatures We all have disgusting ass features Even Ryan Gosling takes stinky shits Even Halle Berry has odor on her pits Even Jason Momoa gets acne on his chest. Even Beyonce gets stray hands on her breast. So let's come together over being gross. Take life's hand, we got dealt and make it the most. Just remember when you feel down. Scarlett Johansson also makes brown. We're all God's, God's disgusting creatures together. Let's be disgusting together. That felt amazing. That was so silly. That felt... <laughs> it was silly. Well, welcome to the show, brother. That's why we love doing the podcast. We have some fun together. I like that instrument. 
and that we I got that from too. the PO box. Yeah, we appreciate we you did. guys sending we stuff. Did. Yes, sir. We we might start uh, making separate PO box videos because uh, let them know the PO let box. The PO box up. It's, Let them know. It's filling up. We appreciate everything, but mm -hmm. we don't even have time to get every. If we could have a weekly PO box if we wanted to mm -hmm. at, the, at the moment. We're very grateful, but we might yeah. make a separate uh, episode for the PO box. Yeah. That could be fun. On a different playlist. It's a whole separate thing. Yeah, so the, the feed doesn't get clogged. Yeah. 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 You know what? Let's do some scissors. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Can we add Terrence and Gerald you know, um, somehow, like, maybe. Incorporate. Do you want scissors? me to cross it like the branches? Or I could. Or you go like around. I could do this. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like you know, off. I'm gonna add them in here. Ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Five. Let's do twenty. Five, four, three, two, idea. one. <laughs> two, <laughs> three. <laughs> this isn't working for me as well as you. Five, <laughs> six, Ow. seven, Ow. eight, Terrence, nine. <laughs> 10, 11, It's working out for you 12, way better than... 13, 14, 15, Terrence is really 16, resisting over 17, here. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Give Terrence a kiss. I'm going to kiss Gerald, too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was nice. Will you put Gerald back in a position? Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, stroke I, He's a good driver. I have a surprise for you also. You have a surprise for me? I think you'll like it. Can I show what you? What did I do to deserve a surprise? You deserve it all. <laughs> you deserve oh, that's it all. A, that's a nice you deserve right a there. lot. Okay, I, I'm ready for oh, wait, the surprise. Can you have your eyes closed though? Because I don't want you to see the challenge either. Because uh, it's a my... keep, uh, okay. keep your eyes closed. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. 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 Keep your eyes closed. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Don't cheat. I'm not. Terrence kind of scratched. Eyes closed. Scratch. Terrence kind of scratched me up a little bit. Eyes closed. Uh, they're they're closed. Eyes closed, please. They're, they're, Steve. Eyes closed. Steve, they are remaining closed this entire time. Okay, are I you have ready? Them shut as well as. Yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Oh, my! Somebody, somebody painted that for us. This was done by the beautiful Sarah Highland. This is amazing. Sarah Highland is a very talented artist and comedian, and she used to date Bob. Okay. You know they dated, right? Bobby and Back Sarah. Back in the day? They lived together. That's so cool. Back at the she old spot. She painted that for us? Yeah, what do you think? I love it. I love it. That's from our diaper episode. Yeah. That's from the Pooh Challenge. Yeah. That's a great piece of art. I love that. You do? I love it. Isn't it like the style? The I aesthetic? like the style. Isn't it on point? That's going to live somewhere here in the garage. You really? I was hoping you'd say that. That's going to really? live somewhere in here. Yeah. I don't Thank know. You. I don't know where, but it's going to live somewhere in here. There's resin gloss on it too. If you Is it really? Yeah. It looks nice. It looks nice. And then I like how she got my um my chub folds. Oh yeah, she, like even like our body parts. Yeah, it's good. Very accurate. Very very accurate. Um now I have a surprise for you. Well, hold up. I'm not, I have a two-part surprise. Well, you have a two-part? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. I saw those online. She sent you hard copies? That is that from um, Pug Ugly Designs? This is from the beautiful Pug Ugly Designs. Thank you so much. I saw those online and I've been reposting them, but I, I love those. So we have we have stickers now? Can you put one on your keyboard or no? I, I noticed there's nothing on there. I think it would be good for branding purposes. <laughs> For branding. For branding. For branding you know, purposes. Corporate Steve over here. Just, branding. He's just wanting to make branding. sure. Branding. Branding. Just trying to get Can I give you this? Can I just hand branding. you this? Yeah, I would love it. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you. These are awesome. I got more in the backpack, too. I'll give oh, you after. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. This mm -hmm. is so cool. Okay. Well, I blew uh, yeah, I blew my load that I have a surprise yeah, for you. Yeah, surprise for Stevie. I got... Oh, actually, I've got a two-parter for you as well. Mm -hmm. Should I, can I close my eyes too? Can, uh, I, can I close my eyes too? If you want to. This is going to be a fun one. I'm so excited. And now this one goes. Don't keep me waiting too oh, long. I, I won't, oh, I won't. This one goes, this first part, this first surprise is from me listening to Steve and being a friend of his for a while, knowing his interests. He never asked for this, but I thought that it would be a good gift for him. And open your eyes. Cause I, right I'm, now? Yep, open it. You're going to have to open it. Oh, 
open it up. Oh, it's a karate kid! It's an 8-bit Karate Kid shirt. I love it! Steve is obsessed with Karate Kid. If you've noticed on the show, he drops a lot of Mr. Miyagi references. Uh, Can I wear it now? If you want to, yeah, of course. I want to wear it. It's great. Thank you so much, man. This t-shirt company hit me up, at Nerdemia. Check them out. They've got an amazing t-shirt database on their website. I'm actually wearing a Nerdemia shirt right now that they sent me with uh, these ten, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 8 bits on it. And I saw that they had uh, one for Steve that was an 8-bit Karate Kid, Danielson, and Mr. Miyagi. And I was like, oh, well, Steve is going to freaking love this shirt. So uh, I asked if they could send that. And I dude, it looks it. great, man. I love it. Heck yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, we like to surprise each other. Here, here, here's a challenge to you guys. If you haven't done something nice for a friend or a loved one recently, just surprise them. It does not have to be a holiday. It doesn't have to be anything. You would be surprised how it could turn around somebody's day or week. I just thought of an idea. What? Let's do five Mr. Miyagi wax on, wax off scissors. Okay. One. Two, three, four, and five. And bow at the end. And bow at the end. Low racist. Low, low racist. That's not a respect. Oh, that's not a respect. Okay, you're right. Then let's do. Oh, <laughs> Steve, hold on. Hold on. No, wait, no, no, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. You just pulled the racist card on no, me it wasn't for racist. bowing. Uh, they bow in karate. You're kid. right. You're right. It was on, let's do, like, hold on. Let's. Uh, can you You're take right. that racist card back, please? Yeah, I take it back. Thank I, you very it was much. A, it was out of respect. <laughs> and you know what? I have so much respect for you standing up for yourself and, and correcting me. I'm going to bow to you. <laughs> you no, no, no. To I'm going to bow to you. Steve, you no, 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 no. I want you to. You don't have to do that. I want to. You don't have to. I want you really to. don't have to I do want that. to. Okay. You know what I I know something about? Hey, dude, it wasn't race. Okay. It was respect. Right. You're right. One it second. was respect. Just hold on. A it second. was respect. Just hold on. If I know anything about Japanese culture, this is one thing about it. Because Mr. Miyagi's character was Japanese from Okinawa. Oh, I know. All right. Is <gasps> that you? Didn't bow that far. Really? Uh, 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 show me how it's done. Oh, then. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. <laughs> Starting all the way up here. Yeah. And then you go like this. You go. <laughs> Gee, that just looks funny. <laughs> That's respect. That's all right, respect. All right. So should I do it correctly? Should I do it correctly? Watch. Yeah. See, that's respect, okay, brother. That's so respect. Are we good? That's we respect. good? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got one. I'll take that back. I've got one more surprise. Okay. Should I close my eyes? Yes, please. Oh, this one's taking a, a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What are you doing, man? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Just don't worry about it, man. Why is it taking so long, man? Hey, man, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. What are you doing over there? Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, don't worry about it, man. I'm getting it. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm concerned. It's taking way too much time. Hey, I'm getting it, man. Don't worry about it. Come on, man. Don't keep me waiting. I love the shirt, dude. Thank you. What are you doing, man? Gosh. Let me get it, man. <laughs> Jeremiah. What? What? What are you doing? There's something on my leg. I know. Open your eyes. <sighs> 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 
You got me a donut? It's donut time. Welcome to a new segment <laughs> called Donut Time. I was hungry. Really? I'm gonna gulp this thing down. Can I have a bite? Yeah, of course. Just break me off a little piece. How about you eat half? Okay. Okay. You know what? Just a little bit. That's perfect. Wow. <laughs> but eat it like the cookie monster. We have to eat it like the cookie monster? Yeah. Like really fast, like gobbled up? Like just, yeah, like with the funny creature sound. Okay. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> that was really fun <laughs> if you are at home go grab a donut if you have a oh, donut the, uh, or let's a snack that. go what? to Wenchel's or Dunkin Donuts go to Krispy right Kreme now. go to it right now pause this podcast and go to your local donutery buy a dozen Buy a dozen free stuff because guess what? You deserve you it. It's deserve been a long it. week. And I don't care if it's the beginning of the week. It's already been a long week in our Not opinion. only that, ro get, go to go to the donut shop, come back and rewind it and eat the donut with us. We, it, it, in the style of Cookie Monster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, girl. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to all <laughs> our scissor siblings, you deserve it. We love you. And thank you for liking and the commenting and subscribing and hitting that bell for notification. All that stuff helps. And yeah, I might have some glaze in my beard right now. It might be happening. Oh, yeah. Using that Germex? I got it. I got it. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. I think that was a fun new segment. You want it? Yeah, I like that. Why not? We should do a brownie one. All right. Or our teeth get brown and it sticks to our teeth like poop. We have to stay, see who can keep uh, it in their teeth the longest without telling the other person, like, you've got something oh, in your teeth. How about this? Hmm. We do the whole episode with brown on our teeth. Yeah, I don't know if people will like that, but <laughs> we could do it. We could do it. Yeah. I mean, we, I'm down. We could do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Walnut brownie. <laughs> Walnut? Wal do, you, do you like walnut brownies? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I like them. They might remind me of my grandma. You know, but are you a nut guy? I'm not a big nut guy, but cashews, I like cashews. Pistachios. I like cashews, pistachios. Pistachios. I like pistachios. I like yeah. cashews. Yeah. I like walnuts. I like pecans. <laughs> Pecan sams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. Really solid. Um, I had a very interesting dinner. Oh, I'm so glad you brought this up. Awake. Okay, because Steve. I, I was fanning out. My friend Steve over here always says that I get to hang out with celebrities. We and, do. Mm, Gentlemen, come on. Mm, yeah. Portugal the man. You're you're the one who's going to be doing a flute solo on their album soon. Don't put pressure on it right now. I'm still working on my craft. Anyway, he's okay. always been like, oh, you hang out with cool people. He went out to dinner. He went out to Korean barbecue with these heavy hitters. Probably. Well, hold up. Let me give you context. I hadn't seen Bobby in months. He was like, hey, dude, let's go out to dinner. And I thought it was just going to be me and Bob. Because he was in Hungary. Con exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Continue. And then not only does Steve go out with Bob. <laughs> He goes out with Stephen Yoon. Hello. And David Cho. Hello. Oh, you want to talk about some of the pinnacle of the Asian acting community you know, and Ste entertainment? Stephen Yoon is our, like, Leonardo DiCaprio. He's amazing. He's amazing. You like his movies? I just watched... Um, He's good. Uh, I just watched, I believe it's called Minori. Is that what it's called? Oh, don't tell me about it. I'm not going to spoil it. Have you seen it, Burning? But when I watched it, I Ocha? thought of I thought of you. You did? When I saw Minori, because it's about uh, an Asian. Asian family. All right, no spoilers. No spoilers. Keep going. 
It's about an Asian family who uh, the dad is kind of like a tough love dad. That's Steven. Mm-hmm. And Do you know he got nominated for an Oscar? He did for that for one? That. He's great or, in it. Yeah. He's great in it. You know, I, I was, I when I sat directly across from him. So imagine me just, because I've met him before, but it's like, I mean. So just to, to give you an idea. I was nervous. My wife and I watched Walking Dead every week, okay? Oh, yeah, that's how he got to start. Until... I don't they, like when they killed them off like they that. They killed I, off I didn't his like character. That. I didn't Here's like the thing. that. They did it so gruesomely that my wife and I liked that character so much that we're like, I think we're done with this show. Yeah, just I, I was did. like, you're gonna. I don't like. We watched it for years with that character, and then they just bludgeoned him. They beat him. him down with the the what was his it? Oh, the bat or eye yeah? Out. I know. I still think of that scene, which yeah. I mean, I guess is good for the show or whatever. I mean, so the writers who came up with that episode, shame on you. <laughs> Hey, you want to talk about you want to talk about racist? There you go. <laughs> That's you're, you're gonna yeah, do that to the my Asian right, brother. You're right. You're gonna do that. Hey, let's not forget David Cho here, the choaster. Oh, I'm not leaving the choaster. The choaster on the roller coaster. By that's the way, my brother too. That's the first time he's ever been called the choaster. I'll the tell you choaster, that. The choaster. Yeah, I came up with that. Did you? Mm -hmm. It sounds original. Yeah, I came up with it. <laughs> oh, the choaster on the roller coaster. <laughs> okay. And uh, he's the got poster. the Cho Show on uh, FX and Hulu. Which is another thing that Steve is a very humble guy. Steve is on a TV show right no, now. No, I'm not on, on it. Yes, you are. I'm sprinkled in there. It does not like, matter. for a half a second. That's what we call a credit in the biz, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's got TV credits now. No. Yes, you do. That's, you freaking do. No, that's... Yes, you do. No, it's not. That's not... That's like extra work. So far? I was an extra. No, you're not. That's extra you work. You had speaking lines. No, I didn't. Yes, you do. I saw the clips. You did? Yeah. I can't watch You're it. You're featured. I can't watch any of them. You got lines, brother. No. I was like, that's my boy right there. Can I say something? What? I don't even remember filming any or recording any of that. Well, or... because you're natural. No, I don't record. I don't remember that. I don't rec remember any of that footage. Well, what, what year was it? That was like from 10 years. <laughs> well, not 10, but like a lot. That was years ago. Oh, well, there you go. Well, then yeah. he was just mining everything. Yeah. So you're just being natural and you're just doing like vlogs like you do at home. Yeah. So shout out again to Bobby Lee, Stephen Yoon, and David Cho, aka the Choaster. Now, tell me about the dinner. Did are they Oh are, are we were Steven at and... Parks Barbecue? Oh, this is good you brought this up. Yeah. My brother's goal for years was they have a hall of fame of um like headshots of all the Asian like well known Asian entertainers. Yeah. And so it took Tiger Belly fans to actually go there and like post it up. Uh, I think there was a picture of Bob and Kalila. So they like forced it on to Parks Barbecue's Hall of Fame wall. Whoa. Yeah. And I was nervous. They took a picture of them. Because you know me. I'm like, I know where I stand on the hierarchy of all this stuff. So I, I was like, I was to the side when they took a picture and they go, get in here. So I'm like, are you sure? Cause you know, we've talked about Did this. I'm insecure. Photo? Yeah. So I got a photo with all them and I think, I don't know for sure, but I think they might put it on the wall. Oh, Steve, you're going on that wall, brother. So I'm repping some scissor bros there. I mean, we met, you know, we're at going to be a part, Parks barbecue. You know what my goal is? What? To be the first white guy on the <laughs> block. <laughs> That'd be so funny. One white guy at a, a sea of Asian people it's who are like so. I mean, it's got to be me and you, obviously. That's a little bit racist on the Parks barbecue, and they should add. Uh, they should be more uh, diverse, huh? Hmm. I'm just saying. Hey, Parks barbecue. Uh, yeah, can we do a call to action? No, 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 no. <laughs> I haven't eaten there. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve you de a call you to action. You deserve it all. No, that's very Can nice we do a call to action? No. We'll, I think it'd be We want to use them. We want to no. use them properly. Okay. I know. Uh, I know. I got to put the bowl back in the, all right. <laughs> in the Let's Let me go okay. to Parks Barbecue first. Let me pay my respects there. Let me get some meals there. Let me and, uh, put some money down there. So How to about invest can I in treat there. you to Parks Barbecue tonight? Are they open that late? Tonight, do you want some kimchi chicken? 
Are they open that late? Yeah, How? everything in Koreatown is open 24 7 3 6 5 But is it? <laughs> Say it with me. 24-7-3-65. Stupid. I'm dumb. I know it. You're not. I love it. <laughs> but isn't that expensive? I don't care. You deserve it. Steve, we I don't want, have the budget. I wanted to treat you to In-N-Out Burger tonight. Steve. You're getting kind of burnt out. And maybe I am too... In a way, but Steve, um, and you, you deserve Korean food. You've been you've been really mindful. You've been really gracious. You've been really humble. You've been really giving throughout this whole process. And I think you deserve a little Korean barbecue. We yeah. don't have the budget for Bobby Lee, Stephen Yoon, and David Cho money barbecue, which is dumb. But it's just me and you. I know, but it's I it, Korean barbecue is expensive. How? Um, yeah, because obviously. I didn't pay that night. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> now it's thinking he's like, eh, actually, uh, this uh, is going back to that Steve and his frugalness. <laughs> Steven <laughs> Lee can't afford Korean barbecue. <laughs> he eats in and out burger, $9.91 or whatever. <laughs> I think it'd be like a hundred, a little under a hundred bucks, a hundred dollars. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> that's a lot for two people yeah but it's a special we should celebrate celebrate what isn't this the 15th episode <gasps> it is hello 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 hello, hello. <laughs> think about it i don't know if they're pumping. are you hungry i don't know if they're pumping nitrous hold oxide up, into up. the studio are you night, hungry but your boy's feeling good but are you hungry of course i'm hungry i'm always hungry you deserve We'll see. We'll talk about it. All right. It could be fun. I mean, I love Korean barbecue. I love yeah. it. So, I mean, it could be great. Didn't you just get back from uh, Nashville? I did. One more question about David Cho and Steven Yoon. Are they like funny people? Or are they yeah. fun? Yeah. They're, you know what? The thing I love about Steven, he's not only funny and like smart, he's like introspective. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of their conversation was like Asians in cinema, their portray portrayals and like their character. Like, oh, so it means a yeah, lot to him. Yeah, they were talking about like like real like subject matters as far as like you know the the way that um, Asians are depicted on and how they're portrayed on screen. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they're talking a lot about that stuff. So it's probably a big deal for him that he got to play a lead character in a, a semi mainstream film that got nominated for, and that's got to mean a lot. No, but he's Damn. been doing that. In Burning, you've seen Burning? I haven't seen that one. You got to see that okay, too. Okay, I'll check it out. Uh, yeah, he was in Okja, he was in a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, yeah, that's just, I was like, I had to like compose myself. Glenn was my favorite character on Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, he's great. Glenn and Maggie, man. They were fun. Anyway, uh, I did go go to Nashville. Uh, I went and hung out with my buddy Josh Wolf. We shot some sketches while I was out Shout there. Shout out to Josh Wolf. We love Josh mm -hmm. Wolf. Um, he let me crash at his place, so I appreciate that. He did? Yeah, it's so nice. Oh, he and so his wife nice. let me crash yeah. in their spe spare yeah. bedroom. And so uh, we shot sketches. He did my podcast. Uh, I had some Nashville barbecue. I did a couple uh, stand-up shows while I was there. Shout out to my buddy Dusty Slay, who put me on his stand-up show. And then... Um, there was uh, another show that I did uh, called, frick, I forget what it, it, it was called. Um, it was at a pizza shop. So uh, Was it good pizza? I didn't eat the pizza. Why not? I should have. Yeah. I went to bed hungry a little bit that yeah. night. I forgot. You know when you misplan when you're out of town and then things are yeah. closed? Yeah. That happened. Oh, because LA's spots are open later. They're food spots. Yeah, oh, for sure. On yeah. the road, it's just a little bit different. Like, yeah. like well, once you're inside, you're you're kind of inside for the night, if mm -hmm, that makes mm -hmm. sense. What are you pulling up now? I, I was see just you're gonna, doing something. I, yeah, I was just gonna, wanted to shout out the Comedy Bar. I just wanted to give them proper. Uh, they they ran a great show, uh, and they run shows in Nashville and Chicago, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun there. The Uber driver, freaking, on my way there, he, he goes, oh, you're going to the Comedy Bar, huh? Did you tell me you're a comic? No, I just wanted to hear his opinion. Ooh, he so goes, you're kind of testing the waters. I was testing the waters. He goes, they do mediocre comedy there. I go, 
what? Ouch. Uh, yeah. I'm a, <laughs> I didn't tell him, like, I'm about to perform on that show. Yeah. And then it turns out he had never been inside. Then what's he was he just ta- judging it. Then what's he talking about? He was judging it because it wasn't the main club in town. And I was like, all right. Anyway, it was. I wouldn't listen to him. No, no, the show was super fun. Yeah. So I hung out with um, uh, Josh Wolf, and it, it was it was nice actually to just hang out with a friend for a few days. My wife went and uh, with the baby and saw her family up in the bay, and so they got to see the baby and they got to spend like she was out of town for a week. So you and I even got to hang out when oh, they yeah. were out of town. Yeah. So I had a little bit of bachelor week. <laughs> Bachelor week. And we already talked about it last yeah, week. Yeah, we still I, got a war zone it too. I'm not well, I'm not going to let you off the leash that. Well, yeah. It was interesting that you bring up war zone. We were scheduled to do a war zone sesh, but something else happened. Oh, you're bringing the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory experience. Can we talk about that? Yes, please. So, I'm on my Instagram and I just happened to be looking at this guy's Instagram and he was a good skater. He was skateboarding. I'm like, oh, and then I don't know for somehow I found out he's from Arizona or, and then I'm like, I just hit him up. I'm like, Hey, we should, we should skateboard sometime, you know, or something. And he goes, his response was, oh yeah, I will, well, we could go to the barracks. I go, what? And to give you context, explain the, what the barracks are the for barracks people who don't is, know about it's skateboarding. It's run by Steve Barra and Eric Costin, two awesome skaters, legends, legends. Um, and it's the the premier facility probably in the world. Like everyone who has a skateboard, their dream is to go there. It's where the pros train, basically. That's yeah. another thing that you need to know. And not only that, they hold an event called Battle of the Barracks there, like flat ground it's competition. On, they do a lot of competition videos on YouTube that yeah. are very popular. It's a series that people watch. Yeah. yeah. So when he said that, I'm like, is he pulling my leg? Well, you thought he was just like, yeah, might be scamming you or something. Because you're like, yeah, of course yeah, I want to go to yeah. the barracks. And, yeah. then he, and then to add to that, he goes... Oh, yeah, I'm the Olympic coach for Utah Origami and Deshaun Jordan. And then, because that was another biggie. I'm like, what? Because what? skateboarding's in the next Olympics. Yeah. And so I'm like, I got to do some more research. Because, you know, there's, a, you know, Instagram, it's like kind of attention deficit. You know, you're like just scrolling through things, yeah. you know? So I really studied his Instagram, and there was a picture with him with the Apollo Olympic shirt with Utah, like with all these, with uh, Nyjah Houston, like, you know, all Nyjah these huge Houston. skaters. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, he's not lying. And so you want to add on to the story? So Steve texts me. He goes, I might be going to the barracks tonight. Oh, by the way, his name was Andrew Nicholas. And then our, our other homie, uh, Deshaun Jordan. Continue. Scissor Brothers! I'm at Beachtown, USA, and I'm not comfortable enough to take my shirt off today. I wonder what a beach bod looks like. Hmm. Whoa, sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir, come back. What's happening? Could you tell me how you got that beach bod? Yeah, it's easy. It's one word and two syllables. Manscaped. Manscaped? What is that? Well, I use the lawnmower 4.0, similar to my surfboard, as well as my trusty weed whacker. Wait a second. I get that the lawnmower trims pubes and stuff, and it's new and improved technology with an LED light and all kinds of zips and whistles, but what is that weed whacker thing? Well, that's funny you asked. I happen to have one, bro, in my back pocket. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Oh, do me, dude. Oh, no, my nose. Hold up, I was getting there, bro. It doesn't even hurt. This is no. state-of-the-line technology, bro. Get straight up there. Okay.
My name's Bradley. Bradley Cunningham, by the way. I'm a local here. My name's Jeremiah Watkins. And we're brought to you by Manscaped today. Get 20% off and free worldwide shipping by going to manscaped.com and use promo code SCISSORBROS. That's 20% off and free worldwide shipping by going to manscaped.com, code SCISSORBROS. Manscaped, always use the right tools for the job. And guess what? If you get the performance package, wow. And if I'm talking about packages and performance, I'm surfing right now, brother. Woo! I think you know what I drift to catch. You'll get a crop preserver, which is anti-chafing ball deodorant, which is perfect for hot days. The crop reviver also is a toner that will keep your balls cool, and we like keeping our balls cool. You want to give it a shot, bro? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is on. Oh, no, okay. All right, Manscaped. Manscaped. He whipped his balls out. It was, it was fun. I gotta censor your balls. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Did you do that one? No. Manscaped. <laughs> hey, Bradley. Yeah, bro. I forgot to tell you. You can come see me do stand up comedy live, headlining in Spokane, Washington this weekend. That's righteous, brother. And then San Antonio next weekend. Cowabunga. And then I'll be in Huntington Beach, which you might know about, at the end of August. So go to JeremiahWatkins.com and get tickets today. Gnarly to the max, bro. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. So Steve hits me up because I'm waiting to see if we're going to Warzone. I download the update. I'm yeah. freaking ready to go. Steve goes, start stretching just in case. I go, what does that mean? He goes, we might be going to the barracks tonight. Just hold on for a second. I'm in my bed alone. My wife and baby are out of town. Yeah. I'm journaling. I'm watching Pokemon. It's a sad sight, but it was fun. Not only that, holy, I'm going to add on to this. I'm going to add on to this. Before then, you were always, you were bugging me. Hey, we should skateboard. We I've should been, do some skateboard. I've been politely hey, bugging Steve for a while to And then I, I noticed even in the back of your car, you would have, a, you had a new skateboard, like new, new grip tape. Continue. And Steve hits me up and he goes, I wait, I'm waiting on the text and I go back to journaling and watching more Pokemon. I'm having fun. I'm alone. And, uh, I get another text message and he's like, it's on. Here's the address. He had yeah. gone there. He'd started skating. He felt it out. He like a true scissor bro. Didn't leave me behind. He asked him, would it be okay if Jeremiah yeah. came? I drove down there as fast as I could. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I don't even have a six shift, and, and I was doing this in my garage. Let's give more context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was Andrew got picked me up at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. We hadn't skated. I hadn't skated in like eight months to a year. Like, I have, have not been skateboarding. I haven't been skateboarding either. I have not even. I mean, I would skate to 7-Eleven. We both had a lot of cobwebs. A lot. A lot. And uh, I'm still sore. Oh, well, just to give you, the day before we went, I played basketball. It was my second week back. Yeah. I almost threw up my back playing basketball because I wasn't used to doing this jumping motion for rebounds yeah, and stuff. Yeah, that's what skateboarding is. You have to jump, crouch, exactly. jump, crouch, jump. And I jump. didn't tell you, like, my back was in pain all day, but I was like, I got to go to the barracks. I'm yeah. not bailing on this. Yeah. So I went there. I met him down there. Giant, beautiful warehouse space. Hold up. Let me add to that. So when we pulled, there's a uh, security gate, but when I pulled up, in my mind, because I've watched so many videos that from there, I thought there was going to be hundreds of people there. It was going to be like a zoo. Which I knew for how late at night it was, it was going to be a private session. Steve you, thought it was going to be super I, well, busy. Well, because I'm just going by what I see on video. I'm like, right, oh, of course. A lot of, you know, it's like the Disneyland for adults for skateboarding. Yeah. It's like Willy Wonka why, yeah, in the why, chocolate factory. Why wouldn't it be busy? And yeah. we got the golden tickets. Yeah, we did. So when I walked in, oh, I, did, I was so nervous I had a poo. Did you poop in the barracks? Yeah. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. So, sorry to Andrew Nicholas. Yeah. We love Andrew Nicholas. Yeah. Um, so I walked in, you know, I, I, I'm i like, hey, I got, can I use your bathroom? Yeah. Goes, it was right there. 
How impressed were you with, were you with how immaculate and pristine it looked? Everything was so clean. Everything was so smooth. And it looked like a level on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah. I'm not exaggerating like at all. It did look like it a movie. It looked like a movie. Dude, when, when I walked in, I literally looked around. And I was like, oh, this is the big leagues. This is literally the big leagues. He trains Olympic skaters there. Yeah. And while I walk in, Deshaun Jordan is doing these crazy stretches like getting fully limber like he, he got his legs spread and stuff like that he's like what's up man i'm deshaun like i was like hey he dude kid laser like hold on i gotta give a couple lasers <laughs> he's a laser flip master oh dude <laughs> incredible incredible skater incredible skater yeah so steve and i we haven't skated forever also and- i didn't want to miss this i don't want to miss this he's also on toy machine now so uh, uh for those of you who skate uh, buy his skateboard, he's on, on Nike toy, SB. He's Nike on toy, toy machine. machine. So yeah. buy his board. Yeah, super nice guy. Yeah, and ap- w- one of my favorite parts, honestly, after the skating, was we all kind of stood in a circle and we just riffed for like an hour or hour and a half. It was we- like smoking in the boys' room. We just told stories yeah. and yeah, yeah, it was great. And you might be asking yourselves at home, did you get any clips? Did we? Roll that footage. You <laughs> said first try. So, uh, Steve, uh, what did we just do, brother? We just skateboarded at the barracks. You mean the world-famous barracks? Yeah. <sighs> that was so freaking fun. Shout out to Andrew. Thank Shout you for hooking that up. Everybody. Thank you. That was so freaking... That was like a fucking awesome thing. You've been telling me that you've been wanting to skate I've there. Been, yeah, I've just seen it on video. I didn't think, Same year. I never thought we'd end up It's here. where the pros train. I know, I know. And you and I... We were just, we, we had no business being here. No business. No we business whatsoever. <laughs> no business whatsoever. But, but it we was, were there. It was so fun. We pulled off some tricks. Yeah, um, and you'll be, able, you'll be able to look at all that soon. Yeah. We got some clips. Yeah. It was right we, did, we did what we could do. Yeah. Yeah. It, it already played right before yeah. this video. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that was Love so you guys. Fun. Love you guys. Yeah. That was amazing. Dude, how fun was that? That was super fun. And we've been having people hit us up for a while. Uh, we are going to do a skate challenge in the oh, future. Oh, yeah. We are going to do that. Or a skate day or something. Or a skate day or, or something. That footage. was a taste. That was a last minute thing. I also want to invite our buddy Joel Jimenez when we go sometime. Yeah, of course. We love him and he's yeah. a great skater. Or maybe Dylan from Mangchi. My buddy Dylan, too, would like to go. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to become friends with, with Dylan, too. I've only played with him on Warzone, but yeah. now we start following each other for on Instagram. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, um, something just briefly, uh, last week that you talked about with the Tanga egg, I just want to just briefly touch on this. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used it, too. You did? Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and thank you for correcting my technique. Because I said you do it like this. So Steve last week is like, you, like, you do this, you like, do like, like this. just on the mic, you know, you just do this, like just the head of the penis. It's an egg. If you didn't watch last week's episode, we and got it's sent flexible. A, we got a sex toy that you put over your penis and you just, you, you stroke it. It's like this egg like shape. I love the milky sticky substance you put in it. <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> we'll edit that in. Um... um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I corrected Steve. Steve was like, he knew what it was when we opened it from the P.O. box. And I was like, I was oh, okay. using it wrong. He was using it wrong. He was literally just using it like the claw on yeah, the top okay, of the head okay. of his penis. You don't have to make your claw like that. No, but you know what was cool? I did it the right way. Didn't it? You don't remind me of like in Aliens 1, in Alien 1, when the alien was inside the chest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you saw the head of the alien when you stroke down, it would pop, you know, the head of your penis. It goes through the chest. Yeah, it would go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I that loved was pretty it. Cool. Didn't yeah. it feel great? Yeah, yeah. So it's good. <laughs> uh, do you throw yours away? I told you. Oh, you did. Remember the aluminum foil in the trash immediately. I, I felt great shame. I kept mine. I kept mine. But isn't it going to stink? I washed it out with dishwashing liquid. And I put it in my desk. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I put it in my desk. <laughs> I put it in my desk. You know, the one where I interview guests on the Stevie Weeby show? It's that desk. But I wrapped it in paper towel. A paper towel. I wrapped it inside a paper towel. You should have put it in a Ziploc or something that was airtight, locked, seal, but now it's going to stink and it's going to be a stinky desk. It's a great footnote. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. I usually okay. don't say this, but let's get into the challenge. I'm so glad you brought it up. Now, I picked the challenge last week, which uh, I've only picked two challenges now. I let Steve pick this one again, even though I've won the last three you weeks in a row. Won. Don't have to rub it in. I'm just saying. I already I'm... feel pain. Okay. Okay. All right. So this one, you'll like. Okay. Close your eyes again. Really? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Got gotcha. you. Okay. I'm closing them. They're closed, my friend. They are completely closed. This guy's eyes have Five, never been. Four. four three. three Two, one, open. Z oh, operation! My goodness! Z operation! Z operation! Z operation! Okay. <laughs> I am. So you have no idea how excited I am right now. You really like it? I'm so freaking excited for this. I haven't but, played that since I was a no, kid. But I know, Operation. but we're, 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 we're tweaking the rules. Oh. <laughs> See how your demeanor changed after I said that? I thought we were just going to play a game of no, Operation. there's repercussions to this game. <laughs> what? Yes, there's repercussions. Oh, tell me, what is it? I got really excited so at first. I know, I know. So, But we're going to play it. Yeah? Whoever gets the most pieces out wins, but if you set out the buzzer... Zzz, zzz. There's repercussions. Okay, what is the repercussion? Okay, so that's good you brought that up. Oh, yeah. zzz, fly swatters. <laughs> fly swatters. <laughs> um, why are you looking at me like that? What are we going to do with those freaking fly swatters? That's a very good question. So the... You notice that I asked you, asked you, do you still have your goggles? Yes. That's because whoever sets off the buzzer, um, we're wearing our glasses, and it's uh, maybe with your weaker hand, a swat to your face. But I don't think that's good. I don't think, because you, you're missing goggles. So I kind of, because I'm, I'm, I was changing it in my mind throughout the episode. I'm like, we could either do one of two things. Do you like the face idea? That... It'd be like getting slapped in the face. <laughs> or I'm going to present you two other options, okay? Think about it. Okay. So zzz, you set off the buzzer. The other person has to put on the goggles. The one that Do you have goggles? I have one pair. Oh. But, but listen, listen. That's one option. Second option, th think about this. Bare butt. 
Let's do face. Or third option. <laughs> you don't like bare butt? What's the third option? Bare back. Bare butt. Bare butt. Bare back. Bare face. Bare face. Strong hand or weaker hand? Let's start with the face and see how brutal it is. Why don't you like bare butt? Yeah, uh, more editing work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to censor stuff, dude. When we get naked, when we get naked. Bare back. We could do bare back. How about this? If we do bare back, stronger hand. Okay. Stronger hand. Okay, fine. That that would be painful. Let's get into it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's set this up. All right, so these are the rules. We're not going to play the game exactly the way it's played, but similar. We're going to rock, paper, scissors at the beginning to see who could pull, see who pull goes the, first. See who goes first. Okay. Whoever has the most money, a lot these cards have um, a value to them. This one's a thousand. This one's two hundred. That one's four hundred. So the person with the most money, money, yeah, wins the game. Yeah, I didn't realize I hadn't played in so and long. And every time you buzz, is that the end of your turn, or is it just how many times yeah. you buzz to get it out? That's the end of your turn. As soon as you buzz, you're you're you lose yeah. your turn, and then you get punished. Okay. Okay. I feel like this, you got some donut in the. Got it. Okay, ready? One time, rock, paper, scissors. One, one, two, three, shoot. It goes one, two, shoot. Oh, one, two, shoot. Oh, that one, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Okay, okay. ready? One, one, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Frick. Do it. No, cut it. All right. Okay, so I could go for the. I could just go right in for the gusto, huh? For the thousand. Go for it. Is that? I don't. Uh, uh, yeah, we didn't read the rules, so. We're uh, we're making them up right now. <laughs> okay. You know what? I don't want to go for it. That's gonna be difficult. You know. Well, it's I'll, gonna be a tiny one. Yeah, I want to go for it. Okay. Here we go. Bread basket. Can you just go back a little bit? Bread basket for a thousand. It hurts. It hurts. It's your turn. It's your turn. I was afraid. I no, didn't go okay. real crazy. I know. I'm going to go crazy, though. <laughs> but Korean barbecue later. <laughs> Think about it. Go, I mean, go for the bread. It's $1,000. Okay, bread basket. Okay. Easy. I know. Operation. <laughs> Woo! One thousand dollars, baby. One thousand. <laughs> Don't touch me. Dollars. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. One thousand dollars. Okay. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Butterflies and stomach. Okay. All right. You're definitely gonna want to be very careful when you go for that butterfly, Steve. Operation five hundred dollars. <laughs> Your turn. Come on, let's speed it up. Okay, man. okay. We got things to do. We gotta go to Korean barbecue. We gotta eat some things. 
Oh, all right. Okay, going for the seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred. Broken heart. Oh, I remember this one's hard. Yeah, that's that. That's that one. Here you go. Scalpel. <laughs> Tweezers. Thank you, doctor. It's right there. I, I see I, it. Okay, okay. I'm scoping the scene right. out. Right. I'm scoping yeah, yeah, okay, it out. Okay, okay. Just don't take forever. I'm, yeah. <laughs> There's other patients in the hospital. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, okay, they're, okay. they're in the waiting room. Okay. 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 Room. okay cool. All right. Did I get a little bit of room here? What do you mean? I'm Move just, the room of your head. I'm, I'm your feeling assistant. it on top of your head. I'm, I'm your medical assistant. Yeah. It, All right, just relax. Yeah, if I'm Dr. Kevorkian. I know. The shadows. All right, sorry, sorry. Operation, operation, operation. Just do it. Operation. Do it. Ow! You got my ear. You smacked the crap out of my ear, dude. Operation. What the frick? Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. That hurt. Uh, no. You did not hold back. You I went like that. You remember the Dude, bat. look at the you footage. The I, I flung like that. Oh my Come on, goodness. relax. You're a big boy. Okay, relax. Go, 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 go. Did you put the card back? No. You have to put it back. You didn't do it. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Do it. Stabby Weeby is trying to mend a broken heart. And the only way to do it is by playing operation. But in real life, the only way to escape a broken heart. Dude, you can't. I didn't do. I didn't do commentary like that. Sometimes oh, going dude. out of town. Sometimes you might want to see a lady who's not in this area code. Relax. You want to? <laughs> Operation. Operation. Ready? Dude, 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 you can't fling back. Dude, I went like this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. You can only, I'll just, just do flick of the wrist, okay? okay? Ready? Are you gonna close your eyes? Dude, or? go! Okay, yeah, I know, the buildup is even worse, right? Ready? I hate you, you got my nose! Dude, you got my nose! I'm sorry. You got my nose! I can't do that, I don't bad. have good, it's your turn, I go. don't have good aim go with ahead, the go. left hand go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. the wrist, go I'm ahead. sorry. Go ahead, Do we put it, we took, put it back, we put the 700 back. I'm going for it again. All right. It's your game. Don't get nervous. Don't, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. <laughs> don't get nervous. <laughs> I know. I can say that. You're saying stuff. You're inside my ear. I know, I know, but you're saying stuff You're too. inside my ear. You're saying stuff too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It went off. I heard it. I heard it. Operation. This is so well, frustrating. I'm not doing that one. Operation. <laughs> just don't get my ear. You're wait, winding wait, up. No, no, I'm You're winding up. Yeah, yeah, just... Wait, no, can you... What? Yeah. No, no, fit. No, turn your head what? towards me like this so I can get your cheek. Oh, God. Oh, you got my nose! <laughs> the frick? All right, go. I'm is, sweating is it my from this. I know. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your you turn. You know what? I'll give up on the heart right now. Yeah, I'm done with the heart. Shh, shh, shh. I'm done with the heart. I'm done. Charlie Horse. Frick, that heart is hard. Man, that's fr frustrating. All right. Little horsey. You want to get a little horsey out of the box? Is it a filthy daddy? Oh. All right. Here we go. Could you turn a little bit more towards me? Slap. It's your turn, brother. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you're doing good. I put I put it back. Okay. Yeah, um, do the trolley horse. You know what? It's your choice. I just want to get one. Get, get it, get it. I want to get, get it, it gone. 
A wrench ankle. $200. A wrench. That's it. Oh no, look what happened. Go, go back in. You got it. Go back in. It already went off. It did? Yeah. Operation. <laughs> Can you, um... Oh no, no, a little higher. <laughs> Don't, you can't cover your ear like that. Close your eyes. Boom! Oh, you're on the side of my head! God! Oh, is it my turn? Yes, I'm fully sweating from this. Funny bone. Dude, at this rate... I know. We have to discontinue the cards. If you try for the card, it's done. Oh, you're right. This is going to take forever. Okay, so we... once you... Okay, and then we still go by numerically, whoever. Yes. Okay, yes. so if this is done, then it's out. The heart's done. We've gone for the heart multiple times. Where's the heart? That was... uh Here it is. No. Uh, it was a seven. It was a seven. So Throw that is, away. This is out. That's out. That's out. Okay. We only have... I have the bread basket. And I have butterflies in the stomach. Okay, cool. Okay, so From now is, on, we're agreeing... Oh, yeah, 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 to speed it up. To, to speed, speed it, it up. up. Okay, so next one is funny bone. Okay. What's that? Can you... Do you need a spotter or what do you need? Watch out, buddy. Watch out. You're doing pretty good, but... You might wanna... Oh, ow. You're really digging in your ankle there. I set it off. I'll, I'll let you go again. I was moving my leg. I'll yeah, let you go thank you. Uh, I'm, a fair, I'm a fair game. Just make sure that you don't do it this time, because I'm going to come with a vengeance with that fly swatter if you don't. You lit that mother up. All right, don't have to rub it in. Did you just see his nose? <sighs> Rudolph the red nose. Wait, hold on, this is gone, though. That one's gone. Let's go. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to That was a smaller one. That was a, that yeah, was a lighter one. Oh, it still one. hurt. I know. All right, your My turn. My ear still hurts your the turn. most. Okay. <sighs> Let me go for this $600 one. Wishbone. Wishbone. Oh, I remember this from childhood. This Go is ahead. one of the hardest ones. Which one's that? It's this one. Oh, that one's the. Oh, it's one of the worst yeah, ones. that one's difficult. Operation. No. Oh no! Yes! Freaking yes, dude. Sixteen hundred dollars. God oh. damn it. Oh, that one was so hard. That one was so uh, I hard. Gotta, for me to even have a chance. Charlie Horse. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Oh, hold up, hold up. Your okay, uh, I'm going for uh, why not 500. Water on the knee, water on the knee. God, that one is easy. Ooh, the bucket. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it just flipped. Stop it. Operation. Oh, is that another five hundred dollars, my friend? Another five hundred dollars, my friend. Writers cramped the pencil. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're not even giving me a chance to get inside your head. I'm gonna wind up on this one. Dude, I'm losing, man. I'm just gonna do this, okay? Ready? That's really not that bad. Okay, I don't even think numerically I could win. We'll see. No, no, do the math. How much do you have? I have 16, 2100. So if I do, if I happen to seven. No, you're right, I could do it. I could do it if I got all of them. That's 1200 added to that. So if I miss one more, I lose. Numerically, numerically. 
No, no, I already lose because if you mess up when that's taken, yeah, I lost. I mean, do the math. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a fair sport. I mean, do the math. If you, do, do one more. Play it out, and I'll, I'll show you. Five, seven hundred. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Since we went that route. Yeah. Was, is I'm that... so competitive. I'm so competitive that I will make you a deal right now. No, I don't want pity. It, this is not a pity no, deal. No, no, you want <laughs> square. Listen to my request. Go ahead, go ahead. The first person to get the broken heart out wins everything. Operation. Do you accept? <laughs> yeah. It's a hit in between every single time though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like I like your attitude. God, you are a good guy, huh? Which one's that? The broken oh, heart. Oh, the broken heart. Oh my. Oh, the red thing came off. Yep. I want to cock back for this one. Okay. <laughs> Can you turn a little bit? No, no, no. The turn your face. That there you go. Oh, you got me the freaking eye! <laughs> you wound up on that no, one. No, I did. Oh, it's coming I, no, for you. I, no, I did. You bet. I'll go no, for it. No, I went like this. Oh my! Look at the goodness. footage, man. Oh my goodness. Everything is riding on this for Stevie. No, I didn't see it. Yes, I did see it. It no. lit up, dude. It freaking lit up. No, I didn't see yes, it. Yes, I saw it. You saw it? One thousand percent. I didn't even get a chance to. Oh, fuck. No, yeah. What are you doing, man? Left hand. Ready? <laughs> dude, I... dude. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that was malicious. That was I'm, not... I, dude, that hurt. Dude, it's that horrible. one hurt more than the other one. Steve, you are... I am gonna go ahead, dude. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> that was malicious. No. No. Please, no, God. <laughs> no, God. No. Look at the camera. <laughs> Lord, is there a Lord? Lord, look up for Steve. Oh, Frank! <laughs> what the fuck? You're gonna, dude, you're that gonna hurt. Find out. That last I've one. Been, I've, still been the I've still been oh, the I've still been the Close your eyes. I did not do Close that. Close your eyes. I did not do Close, that. I did, okay. Then. I did not wind up like what you're, oh my, dude, this is. Oh my <laughs> God. Okay, vengeance is coming, brother. Vengeance is coming. Lord, I know you're watching right now. I know that Steve is really adamant about that. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. Wait, dude, dude, relax! I didn't do it that hard. Dude, you're flexing your muscle, man. Please, you're already winning, you won. Dude, 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 see? I'm sorry, I have to do this to you. Oh, you missed! Your turn. Oh, I'm sweating. I am too. Oh, okay, this go, is go, stressful. Go, go. Did you bury this heart? What the frick, dude? Oh my, you put it underneath the thing. No, no, a little this way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just turn your head towards what? Like, like that, like that, like that. <sighs> or five. Just just oh, do no. it. Oh! <laughs> so I missed. I missed. Go. You, there's I'm gonna hit you because there's no way you're getting this hard out. <sighs> Hold up, give me a just give me a sec. Ready? Yeah. Oh, dude! <laughs> I did not, sorry. I'm gonna apologize. Oh, yeah, you think so? I'm gonna apologize. It's your try. 
Oh my god, dude, I felt your anger. Go ahead. Wow. We might have to call this game. Yeah, all right. It's so far under. All right, you won. Do you want to get one more in on my face? Yeah, I do. Because I want us to be good. Yeah. But I win. But I'll, I I'll take yeah. one more shot okay. to the face. Just don't go crazy. <laughs> what the frick, dude? <laughs> no. No, Wait. Steve. No. <laughs> That's too much. What do you mean? You got in a crouch position. Oh, you don't want it. Oh my goodness. Hold up. Shake my hand. You won fair and square. I love you. I love you. I love you. One fair. Four weeks in a row. You got you. me again. We can't get okay, the heart okay, out. Okay. We can't get. Just. Oh, oh my. Oh! <laughs> All right. You won. Are you guys liking? <laughs> You guys liking the podcast? Hope you do. Make sure you're hitting subscribe. Okay. Look at my ear. Steve just lit up my you ear. You won four weeks in a row. Over and over and over and over. Oh, so red. Christ. Good grief. Jesus Christ. Good game, buddy. Good game. I love you. I'm in pain. I'm in so much, dude. No, 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 no. I'm no. lit up. We're no. both sweating. Things. I'm in pain. I'm in a That's four weeks pain. in a row. Pain. That type of pain. <laughs> Dude, was that fun? That was fun. Was it? My face hurts though. Dude, come on, you got me way better. Dude, look at my ear. Dude, will you stop? Look, You're look, the champ. Look at my face You're and the my champion. Ear. Look at my You're face. You're the operation and my ear. champion. Quit bitching. You freaking you. Bruise. You're the operation champion. You bruised my Dude, face. Dude, look at me. Look, show the camera. What? Show your camera the face. I'm lit up, dude. Yeah, right there. See, you bruised yeah. me, man. R.I.P. Jeremiah and Stevie. Your faces took a motherfucking ass beating. Did Jeremiah even really win? Cause Steve gave more pain in the end. And I'm here just sitting off to the side. Bridesmaid, never the bride. R.I.P. Jeremiah and Stevie. Include Gerald in a challenge, cause I'm a king. How many more can Jeremiah win? Steve will red zone if his streak hits ten. Hey Steve. Hey what? We haven't danced yet this episode. Well, let's try to do a dance. Oh, I forgot the music. Can I add it in later? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thanks. This is a pyramid dance. Okay. So you hop on my back. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Like put your knees on my back. Yeah, you got it. How you could have done it? I'm gonna go. One. Uh, okay, you ready? All ready, go. Ready, start dancing. Right. Right, cowboy. That was really fun. That was a good, a good idea. So many doctors 
in the world It makes you think Even a girl can be a doctor That came out wrong Boys and girls can both be doctors it Doesn't matter you gender You can be a doctor No matter your gender, your age, your sex, your race, you can be a doctor this in America. This goes out to all our sibling, scissor siblings across the globe. All of them. You can be a doctor if you put your mind to it. It doesn't Scissor matter. Scissorbrospod at gmail.com, youtube.com, slash scissorbros. Thank you for tuning in. Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? Is anybody still here? Oh, wow. Thanks so much for joining me back here on Gerald's Thoughts. What a doozy of a week it's been. Hope it's been good for you guys. What was Jeremiah thinking with that doctor's lyric about women? I mean, what the fuck, man? I thought this was a, a pro-everyone show. I guess he dug himself out eventually, but he definitely had a slip that he didn't mean to happen. Anywho, just things I've been noticing. As you could notice this episode, Guillermo is not with us. I had to send him back to South America temporarily. His visa was expiring, and his mom kept asking me to look after him for longer and longer, and I couldn't afford it at the moment. You know... Maybe if we get a Patreon going or something, I can bring him back sooner, but we'll see. I do feel pretty good about my involvement with this episode. I mean, as you heard, I snuck uh, one of my songs in there, and then even Steve referred to me early in the podcast, so that's pretty nice. So things are actually looking kind of up for me lately. I kind of wanted to do something that I've never done before in this section. Usually Gerald's thoughts is the very last thing on this pod, but I was thinking about this. What if we do Gerald's shorts? If I show some videos and stuff that I like sometimes or every once in a while at the end of the pod. Well, let's do it right now. This one right here is a sketch starring Adam Ray and Jeremiah, and I was a silent producer on it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, it is a six-minute sketch, so if you can stick around and watch the whole thing, that would be amazing. I would love you forever. Well, I'm going to love you forever anyway. But thank you for subscribing and watching and uh, just support. And I'm going to get that Gerald shirt out real soon. I think people like the 8-bit design. All right. Without further ado, here's a sketch with Adam Ray and Jeremiah called What Can I Get You? Bye. What can I get you? What can you get me? My son, Buck! The Loch Ness Monster took him from me years ago when he was just a wee lot. Not a night goes by my wife doesn't cry herself to sleep. I tell her he's coming home. But I fear he's lost forever. Wow. Dude, I'm sorry. I, I can totally relate, you know? I lost a friend of mine years ago. What was his name? His name was Devin. Seventh grade, he went missing. We looked for hours. Turns out he was going down on a girl up in a Ferris wheel. Total legend. So, can I get you a martini or 
Are you an old fashioned guy? Or you want to get wet and slippery? Get a screwdriver. Did you say screwdriver? Maybe. I witnessed a man kill me dad with a screwdriver. He drove it into his heart over and over as I stood there frozen. I can't get his last words out of me head. As he bled out, he screamed for me, Mum. Mary! Mary! Please help me. I don't want to go. Yeah, I can totally relate. A couple nights ago, I was pretty hammered on one of those electric bird scooters. Hit a unexpected crack in the concrete. Went down hard. Handlebar dug right into my chest. It was like a screwdriver to the heart. I get it. So you want like a Bloody Mary or maybe as your dad says, a Bloody Mary, Mary. I don't do voices, but. Give me your strongest drink. You got it. Don't drive after one of these. Or do. <laughs> What's your name, lad? My name's Glenn. Glenn? Yeah. That's my son's name. Named after my father. That's awesome. I can relate. I named my son after his father, Glenn. Me. <laughs> Would have named him after my dad, Sherman, but he's a deadbeat. He left me at a Loch Ness sightseeing tour when I was three, by myself. Haven't seen him since. The Loch Ness monster took him from me years ago. But I fear he's lost forever. My son, Buck! Anyway, that's gonna be $37, man. I didn't catch your name, by the way. My name is Sherman. That was my dad. That was my dad's name. Could it be? <laughs> I mean. Butterscotch Kisses Rainbows And wishes The sun Went down On me Butterflies Cow pies I loved your mother so Rainy days Here to stay Your dad remains your bro Oh This is uh unexpected Peanuts are on the house. <laughs> the peanuts are on the house. What are you doing? First father-son shot? <laughs> oh, oh I, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. No, no, I, I, I don't, hey, hey, I don't care if you're my dad. That's fucked up, that man, hey. All right, we, there's a sign when you walk in that says no weird shit. Butterflies. Get the fuck out. May have gone too far with the line.
We're all God's disgusting creatures together. Let's be disgusting together.